Welcome back everybody. In this video I will be looking at how to make a save system in our game. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a new scene and this will act as our like menu start scene load up screen kind of thing. Uh, and the idea is when we die we come back to it and when we start the game or when we die we get asked if we want to continue or do a new game. So first of all i'm going to hide the player so when we come into the scene the the player isn't there and it's not walking around because it's not a normal scene it's a menu and then what i'm going to do is say if game data saved and what this will do is check to see if the game have, has a save state and if you're playing on you know web then this is easy to do but if you're playing on a, a cartridge the cartridge needs the battery uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start in the else and say if the game data isn't saved, we're going to say start new game. And then we're just going to have a menu and it will ask yes or no. So set the first item to yes, second item to no. We're going to set the last option as zero. And if B pressed, it's zero. But what we're going to actually do is attach this to a button. And so this will mean that when the player presses uh, no, it doesn't just end the script and that's the end. Uh, it means that every time they press a, a, the button we want them to. So we'll make it so when they press start, it, uh, it asks them if they want to start a new game. And if they press no, then they can press start again and they can get asked again. Simple as. So what I'll do now is if true. Uh, so if the, if the player says yes, it can disable else because we don't need a no because it will just do it again uh, if the player presses it so if the if they say yes then we want to change the scene to the forest scene make sure it's in the correct position and because we've made it so that this scene basically sets up you know the game when we enter the scene it's very easy to um to just have it like that if we were to have it like a full game like in ticket racing 2 i make it so there there's a lot of uh, variables that are set and if we were to add you know for example leveling up or something um then we might want to set them to level one we might want to set the strength to a certain number rather than everything be zero like it would be uh, automatically uh, and we do that obviously once they've just before the change scene but after they've said yes uh, so now we've said and uh, start uh, we can move on to, like now we've said uh that if they haven't got a save and they say yes and if they say no then we have something to to happen uh, if the game data is saved then we want to ask them would you like to load your game so load game simple as and then menu and it will just say yes Ooh, wrong bit we'll say yes in one no in two Set the last option to zero again. And again, I'm going to attach a button to this. I attach a script to button. Uh, and I'm going to put it on start again. And load game. Ask yes or no. And then if true, we can disable the else again. Because uh, something else will happen once we've done that. So load game. And if they say yes, then we just load game data. And this will put them exactly where they saved uh, which is amazing this is fantastic because if we say we put the the uh, you know the save spot here then the player will just spawn exactly like looking at the thing exactly where they left off but we'll come back to the save points later in the video okay so we've we've asked them uh, you know would you like to load game and if they say no then we should ask them uh, would you like to you know start a new game so if we put copy here we can paste this stuff uh from from the uh from the start new game straight after this uh if true thing because if it does load then it loads and we go in otherwise uh if there is you know if they say no then we just continue and this this script then plays out so then we want to set just copy this and put it to here and now we have a save system that that works so how it works is we have a, va a variable thing saying is it saved is the game saved and if it is saved 
when you press start, something happens. And if and otherwise, if you press start, something happens. So both of it is connected to the start button uh, and they're separated by the if game data saved. So if there isn't the save game data, then we, we ask them if you want to start a new game. And if there is a game's data saved, they either get asked to load the game or they get asked to start the new game. And that's extremely simple. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is add save spots. The save spots are almost even simpler. So first of all, I'm just going to add an actor. I'm just going to set it to the classic save point. Um, I'll animate it while it's stationary so it bobs around. And then what I'm going to do is just have on interact, it, then it will ask the player, would you like to save the game? Actually, let's just say, would you like to save? Keep it simple. Would you like to save? And then the menu again. Just yes or no. Set the B and no to zero. And if true, then we save the game. But first of all, I'll, I'll add it in. I'll add um, save game. Uh, so what this will do is just instantly save it. So if you're on a Game Boy, that's not the best thing you want to do. Uh, what you might want to do is ask or tell the player that they will be that they shouldn't turn off the uh, system while it's saving, and then save the game, and then say the game saved successfully. And there's even a check to see if the game did save successfully, and we can add that in to say whether or not the game did save. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say, uh, do not turn off the system while saving. And I'll put dot, dot, dot. Uh, and then we'll have the save after that. And then we can say if uh, game data saved. So we can check, is there a save game? Uh, and uh, if there is, then game game saved success fully. That does not look like it's spelled correctly, but I don't care. Uh, we can put an exclamation mark on that. And if it didn't save successfully, we can say something went wrong while saving. And there we have a simple save system that makes sure the player doesn't turn off their system while it's saved. Uh, that's just a, a good thing to have in a game because it's just uh, making sure the player uh, like gets the feedback on whether or not it worked. Uh, if, if it was just a save, if I just press a, like you know interact and then it just saved, I wouldn't know if it's saved. Uh, being told is fantastic. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that uh, little thing and I'm going to paste it around. And we can. Uh, what I also need to remember to do is to take off the. Uh, oh, it's on the heart, isn't it? So on the heart, we have a script that on update checks to see if the player was uh, was killed or not. Uh, so basically, what we want to do is instead of when the hearts are set to zero, what I want to do instead is. I'm going to I'm going to take off this stuff here uh that set the hearts back to 4 and I'm going to I'm going to add a little thing saying you you ran out of life just so that the player knows that they you know they did something wrong and then I'll change it back to the menu so the change scene will be this I need to call this menu so that we know where we're going and then on the initiate of this it will do as if uh, you know we had the the thing set up correctly so I think I need now need to copy this over again because I obviously I obviously changed the heart uh, but the heart you need to remember you need to set the uh, the animation frame specifically to the heart because there's a bug that when you copy and paste uh, these 
self-references don't work anymore. Uh, I think they're referring to the original one, and obviously it's not in the scene, so it kind of messes up. So that is annoying, but it's just one of the quirks. So I'll just set them all. And now, if we would, if we play this, we can test and see if it works. Uh, there's almost definitely going to be bugs, and there always is, uh, but we can we can eye them out as they come. So just to recap, we have a check to see if the game saved, which then asks us to uh, press the start button to do something. Uh, obviously, it doesn't ask us, but if we do, then it it then asks us something. Uh, the start menu then takes us into the first scene of the game, or it can load us in the game at these save points. So let's see what we can do. So let's just run it. Okay, so what I'm going to do to test it is I'm just going to save... Actually, no, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get killed by the cat so that we can see what it looks like without a save. Uh, so once we get completely killed, it says, you ran out of life. And then we get sent back to the menu. We press start and it says, start new game. And we can say yes or no. We can say no. And you see nothing happens, but if we press start again, then it asks us again, and we can say yes, and it brings us back to here. Uh, what I did obviously notice is when the game originally started up, uh, it started in this scene, meaning that we didn't set the menu as the starting scene, which is very easy to fix. Uh, there, that's all it was. Uh, so if we go back in, we don't need to really rerun it to test it because it's just a tiny little fix. And now if I press save, would you like to save? Um, game saved successfully. We can go back through and see if it does the same thing. You run out of life. If I press start, load game. Perfect, easy as that. Load game, we say no. Start new game, no. And we're back to this, press start, load game, yes. And here we are at the save point. Uh, and you see the cat's still alive, but if I go back out and I save, I wonder if the cat will still be there. Let's see. Okay, so I've saved the game. The cat is gone. I'm going to move into the next level, and then we're going we're gonna to die to the cats and see if it uh, puts us back there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and there we go. You run out of life and start load game yes and here we are is the cat there the cat is there so that makes me wonder uh if actors and everything is reset um i might have to make a more in-depth uh save system uh tutorial because i have some ideas on on you know how you'd make a complex thing where the actors stay dead it's an interesting topic me uh brought from the fact that it's not working as you might expect uh, but if we save here then we can try again but I think we know it works guys so I think I'll just leave it here the idea of a tutorial system was brought up by one of my patrons they'll be on screen right now um, thank you to them and if there's any questions that this video brought up please don't hesitate to ask in the in the comments um, like this video if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching